Well, prepare to walk on the wild side again in cinemas because David Lynch's first film in four years has arrived. It's Lost Highway. And if you're expecting an interpretation from me, then you're going to be disappointed. This is a most mysterious film that leaves innumerable questions and few answers. It starts in an LA-flavoured city where tenor sax player Fred Madison, Bill Pullman, is tortured by thoughts of the possible infidelity of his wife Renee, Patricia Arquette. They're both plagued by mysterious videos that appear on their doorstep that intrude increasingly on their private life, culminating in Renee's murder. As Fred sits in a cell on death row, a miraculous transposition occurs. A young man, Pete Dayton, Balthazar Getty, suddenly takes Fred's place. He's released and goes back to work as a motor mechanic, where he occasionally does jobs for gangster Mr. Eddie, Robert Loggia. Dangerously, he becomes involved with gangster's mole, Alice, also played by Arquette. I'll get it. Hello? It's me. Hey, baby. I can't see you tonight. Okay. I have to go somewhere with Mr. Eddie. Sure. I think he suspects something. We have to be careful. I miss you. Well, to add to the confusion, there's a Machiavellian character played by Robert Blake. It seems to me that the film is about male gullibility, possession and guilt, but I can't be sure. There is, however, no mistaking the precise style of the filmmaker. It's reassuring to know that Lynch isn't all that sure what his films are about either. But he knows how to inject a unique look, feel, texture to his films, combining exciting talents in cinematography, Peter Deming, music, Angelo Badalamenti, the soundtrack of the film is going to be in great demand. Design, Patricia Norris, and editing, Mary Sweeney, who's actually Lynch's wife. It's an intriguing mix with performances that are as elusive as the film itself. It's not as good as Blue Velvet, but it's among Lynch's most interesting works. It's all very strange, and no one I've spoken to seems to have a handle on it. I wonder if you do, David. Well, no more than you, I think. I think it's almost as good as Blue Velvet. I really liked it enormously. And the, the miracle of David Lynch's work is that he is able in just about every scene to create this kind of very, very strange and quite unique tension. Uh, it's something to do with the, the way the scenes are shot, the way they're cut, his use of music, yeah. the way he directs his actors. Yeah. There's an extraordinarily chilling feeling about so much in his work. And this is so mysterious. I mean, not just mysterious in terms of the plot, but just the images are, are mysterious and exciting and, and reverberating, and it's just wonderful. I, and I, I adored I had, it. I had hesitations about the Robert Blake character. No, I loved him. I love. It's a typical Lynchian character. I know it is, but it's sort of like... I loved him. So what are you giving it? I'm giving it four stars. I think it's pretty exciting. Four and a half from me. How you doing, Pete? Okay. You doing okay? It's good, Pete. Look, uh, it's late, Mr. Eddie. I, uh... I'm really glad to know you're doing okay. You sure you're okay? Everything all right? Yeah. I'm really glad to know you're doing good, Pete. Hey, I want you to talk to a friend of mine. We've met before, haven't we? I don't think so. Where is it you think we've met? At your house. Don't you remember? 